Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see today, I may have a full face of foundation, bronzer, blush, eyebrows, all that. But I got nothing but over the bronzer on my eyes because I'm going to be doing a tutorial with you today on how to use the beautiful Pierre Rene pigments from Glamour Cosmetics. So I'm going to be showing you how to use the pigment both dry straight up and obviously wet which increases the intensity of the, the colour and the sheen and for that I'll be using the Pierre Rene Liquid Primer. Um, I will be doing a full video on this because it's quite the multi-use product. So I'm going to show you a little series of snips of all the different shades of pigment that I currently own from Glamour Cosmetics. There are more, this is not all of them, they are beautiful and I have swatched them both dry as they are and with the liquid primer so you can see the difference in the two applications. zoom you in excuse my beautiful floral crown I need to keep my hair under my face I put a bit of bronzer in the crease just as a transition color and blend it out a little bit more just so that it's not one flat wash of color I do like to just add that kind of depth to the crease and along the lower lash line and I've got my beautiful extreme lashes lash extensions on I'm gonna take a mix of different shades though as you can see I put a bit of powder under my eyes just so that I can actually make sure that if there is any fallout it's not going to stick to my foundation I'm going to take I'm going to take the shade cinnamon I'm gonna use a couple of different shades but I'm gonna take but I'm going to take this one and just sweep it dry across the lid for a sort of sheer wash of color it's quite sparkly so beautiful this shade and then I will just blend out the edges with the first brush I used cinnamon is kind of like a cool toned pinky brown with some sparkle in it don't know if you can see the sparkle on camera I'm hoping you can it's very very pretty I'm going to take the shade that I find the most exciting because I love my reds the shade beetroot which is a deep reddish brown and I'm going to actually mix it with some of the liquid primer you honestly don't need more than a drop or two and I'm going to mix that up and it becomes like a liquid eyeshadow almost a liquid or a cream eyeshadow see how it becomes the most beautiful liquid eyeshadow and I'm now going to take this directly across the lid take a fluffy brush that is quite small so I don't blend too much away and I'm just going to blend the edges of that as you can see it's a lot more intense I will be taking some bronzer at the end on a smaller brush as well I'm just blending the edges a little bit more I don't want to blend them too much while they are still damp I want to just wait for it to dry down a bit more but I love this plummy chocolatey red brown it's beautiful and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of touch of gold it is very very sparkly and gold as you can imagine 
is I actually want to mix it with some of the liquid primer and I'm going to make it into kind of like an eyeshadow topper. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger, dab it in the center of my eyelid because look at that when it's wet. Super metallic. given that beautiful richness a sparkle on top. I have focused it in the center of the eyelid and then I've blended it out and then I took a teeny little bit more of the beetroot dry just on the, the outer corners just to deepen that up again. I'm going to now take um, a little bit of the beetroot again and I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to use it dry. I don't want the lower lids too intense and I'm going to just do my lower lash line I'm going to take a little bit more bronzer and just blend any harsh lines and then I'm going to do a bit of a highlight. I'm going to use the shade Sunlight to do an inner corner and brow bone highlight. I'm going to use it dry for the brow bone highlight because I don't want it too intense and I'm going to wet it for the inner corner highlight. As you can see on the brow bone, it, you've got that glow, but it's very subtle and it's only when it catches the light. And then I'm going to take some of the liquid primer again. I actually want to try a little bit of that sunlight on my cheekbones as a face highlight. Whoo wee. As long as I don't overdo it, that could be really pretty. I'm using like the tiniest amount of the pigment right now because I don't want to look too crazy. So as you can see, this lighting is much better. I love how you can use the pigments wet and dry. I like how you can use, for example, cinnamon that I used as a sheer wash of color over the lid. I like how you can use the shades like beetroot, dry, and they're still pretty pigmented because that's what I use on my bottom lash line. And you can use them wet to have a super, super intense metallic shadow. And then the shades like Touch of Gold, which you can use as a kind of like an eyeshadow topper. Uh, you can actually take some of them, especially shades like beetroot that are more pigmented, mix more powder with the liquid primer and create a liquid liner. Very, very cool. And then the shades like Touch of Sunlight, which I've actually used as a face highlight on my cheekbones, on my nose, and on the top of my lip. Very, very, very cool. I like how they become multi-use products and you can actually use them so many different ways. I can highly recommend the Pierre Renee pigments. They are absolutely phenomenal. There's so many different finishes, different kind of textures. Um, they're beautiful. If you would like to make use of my discount code Sugar and Spice for a nice little 15% off, I have put it in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!